Hello, my name is Scratch Tutorials, and today I will be showing you how to make a simple uh, Pong game in Scratch. So, first we're going to go ahead and delete this cat because we don't need it. We're going to title it Pong. Simple Pong. Uh, and we're going to go into the sprite uh, library and find a ball. This one should do there. So we have our ball right here. And I want a blue ball. So I'm going to go ahead and delete all of these other ones because we don't need them. Okay. Now we have to have our paddle. So I'm going to search for a paddle. Let's see. I'm going to edit this to look like a paddle. So I'm going to take this. I'm going to have keep it same color. And I'm just going to shrink it down a little bit and expand it a little bit. That, I think, is a little bit too much, so I'm gonna do it like that. Okay. So. Um, now we need to get a backdrop for our game. Um, now, we are just making a simple one-person Pong game, but I will upload a video on how to do, uh, how to edit your project to make it a two-player game. Um, so I think, I think the stripes look pretty cool. Okay, so there are our stripes. I'm gonna go ahead and just rename this uh, to and we need to add the uh, the code for our paddle um, to make it easier I think we are going to change this color on the right there to black that will just make it easier to program all our uh, paddle so with the paddle we're just gonna put simple code here to tell it to go to um, this location when we start the game. Uh, so when we click this, it will go there. The flag, even if it's right there, it'll just jump back. Um, then we're gonna need to add a forever script. Now, there is two ways to do this, and I will show you both of the ways, but I recommend the way I'm doing first for your paddle. So you're gonna gr grab an if then statement and grab the key button. And since we're doing arrow keys and we want it to go to the left, uh, to the right, we're gonna do, do the right arrow. And then when we wanna do it to the, make it go to the left, we'll do left arrow. Um, and then in motions, it's important not to use the move block because uh, it's easier to do it here and this is harder to program. So we're gonna wanna change our X. So the X is this way and the Y is up and down. Um, there's a good backdrop to demonstrate that. Let's see. It's the XY grid. So this is really handy if uh, you want to program a game and you don't know the X and Y, but we will just keep it as this. Now, add code to our paddle. So with the right arrow, when we're going this way, it's increasing. 
So we want to keep that like that, but I'm going to change it to something like 5. And then we want to do the same thing, except for negative 5. So now when we move it, our paddle will move. And I'm going to speed this up a little bit because that's a little bit too slow. Let's try that now. Now, you can have this paddle as fast as you want, because this is your game, and I encourage you to mess with the code. That's what Scratch is all about. Okay, so I'm going to have the ball right here. So we're going to have the ball start out in the corner. Well, on the top. And we are going to change this X to 0. So now it will start in that position. And we're going to go ahead and add a forever block. And we're going to do if on edge bounce. And if touching color, you're going to select the black of your paddle. Then we're going to have it point in a different direction as the paddle. So we're going to have it turn and we're going to have pick randomly between and we're going to have so we're going to have to add a move 10 steps and we want it to move bounce off in 90 to negative 90. So we're going to just have this 90 and then have it turn from 90 to negative 90. And you see how it's just bouncing like that. We're going to want to set that to zero or a different number, yeah. So you see, we have our very simple uh, Pong game. Uh, now I will show you the other way to move your paddle, and this is a little bit simpler, but it's not as smooth. So we're just gonna go ahead and take this out. And what you need is these right here, right, and if left, we're just going to move those from here, move that to there. So now it's a lot less smooth, but it's more precise if you wanted it to be more precise. But I'm going to keep it like this, since I think this is a better thing to do. And make sure to save. And that is your basic Pong game. Um, I will be posting another YouTube video to show uh, how you can make this a two-player game. Thanks for watching.